It's in the low 40s and raining here in Erie, PA. So now is a perfect time to talk about rain gear and bicycling. I'm Josh Gone. This is Erie Bicycle. Now, before we get too far into this, I'm going to tell you that warm weather, a raincoat or a poncho and sandals or any kind of shoes that drain real quick and easy. Uh, I'm a sandals kind of guy. Man sandals. Uh, those work well. Some kind of shorts that are made from a fabric that doesn't absorb water like cotton and, and dries easy. Some of that easy dry or quick, quick wet or whatever the heck it's called. Those types of things work real well in warm weather. I will tell you that I bought an expensive piece of bicycle gear, which is kind of against my ethos here, but I did. I bought and tried a clever hood rain poncho. I gotta put on my turn signal, hold on. He was turning too. And while this is not a clever hood review, ouch, now it's hailing. I will tell you that it is a nice piece of gear. It is well made. It's kind of expensive. It works well, but I found it kept me wet from the knees down. Oh my gosh, is it windy. Ooh. What does work for me that's been kind of tried and true and proven is this cheapo Amazon raincoat. It's thin, but it's rubbery and it keeps me dry. Billy had mentioned in that little comments conversation, frog togs. And I have a pair of black frog togs that I used last year that worked pretty well until my knees started to get wet. Uh, but they're cheap and they work well. And I think my knees were wet just because usually I kind of cinch them at the bottoms because they're over pants. So they're kind of big and floppy. And then my knees would press against the fabric and, the, and that pressure would eventually seep through. Oh, this is miserable. So just this year, one of the drivers I work with, he gave me these high-vis rain pants. And I will admit, this is a little bit more high-vis even, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous even for me. I mean, this is a wind tunnel. Whew. But it, it works and I was dry this morning in the low 40s and the raining and the wind was at my back. That was nice. And these shoe covers, which also kind of look ridiculous in our bicycle specific, I guess, with the cutouts for your cleats. Whoa. Straight wind tunnel. But they're not really expensive and they do work. They worked well all through the winter. And my feet were, they seem to absorb some water but my feet weren't wet when I got to work this morning and they probably won't be wet when I get home. So if you had some kind of like muck lux or rubber proof or rubberized shoes, uh, duck, duck shoes, remember those from the 80s? Anyways, if you had some kind of waterproof shoe, that would absolutely work in place of these, these shoe covers uh, and, and gloves. For a middle glove, I've got a summer glove vented and a winter glove with the three fingers and a thumb. And those are too little or too much for this weather. So I've got these like Darth Vader gloves that are just kind of like hanging around my house that work real well. They're neoprene of some sort. They're absolutely not expensive, but they're not quite dollar store gloves. They work well. 
They keep my hands warm. I'm not sure if they keep them dry. They seem to suck up water, but it's it's been okay so far. So, you know, uh, most of what I wear is, you know, whatever I can rummage up to do the job without buying bicycle specific stuff. Because it's the low 40s, I've got the uh, leftover pandemic gator. Remember that? I got the gator to, to keep cover my skin, not so much to keep me dry, but to keep, you know, the, the pain away. My head usually doesn't wind up too wet because the helmet's not completely, you know, totally open. Uh, a downpour maybe, but I think you can get helmet covers. You could probably get a shower cap for a person with a big fat head at the Dollar Tree and stick it right over your helmet. So that's what works for me for uh, riding in the rain. There is one last thing though. You will play the game and the game is sweat or wet where you try to figure out if you're feeling wet inside of your rain gear because it sucks or because you're sweating and you formed your own little rain cloud in, of sweat inside of your gear. So far I've been mostly that. Like right now my knees feel a little cold like maybe they got wet but I think it's just sweat collecting and that's where the wind is gonna blow and cool that off even though it's inside of my clothes you know it'll create that little cold spot like when you're walking in the winter and your jeans get cold you know you're not sweaty it's just that one spot where the wind's blowing Whew. so it's a fun game i think most people that ride in inclement weather play that game too this is the part where i ask you if i were a good youtuber youtuber which i don't like to say but this is the part where I say, if you've got something that works for you, let me know in the comments below so that I can get you to interact with my... And, um, but really, if you do have something that works better and you have a better idea, let all of us know in the comments so then we can read it and learn something. Because that's really my whole deal. I, I like the YouTube the best because we have those little conversations in the comments section. And, and it's cool and fun. So... I'm Josh Gaughan, this is Erie Bicycle. I've worn myself out from the wind and talking so much, and I gotta get home. Thanks for coming by. Please come back again. You guys ever interested in going through a ride in there into the Erie Cemetery? We'll do it sometime. Big, prominent Erie people in there from uh, old history.